you want a few prepper bushcraft survival tips, stay tuned. To see how effective your outdoor pots are, use them at home and compare them with pots that you use every day. If you're going to try a new recipe for outdoors, try it at home with the outdoor pots and modify your spoon so it fits the pot properly. If you want to use your metal water bottle for boiling water then get rid of the chain, replace it with a piece of removable paracord. Then you can boil in the bottle without roasting the top. Fasten the cord with a figure of eight knot. It's easy to undo. Don't mess around. Get stick on Gore-Tex patches for your torn waterproofs. If the blade on your multi-tool flops about, use an elastic band to keep it in place. One of the good things about straight sleeved arms on outdoor jackets is that you can roll them up in the summertime or when the cuffs are in danger of getting wet. However, with tapered sleeves, this doesn't work. One answer is to get the zip the required length sewn in and to stop the zip opening when you don't want it to, have a Velcro fastening. The narrow arm allows you to get on unhindered when you're working outside, especially in close country. Don't be afraid to modify your kit. Make it fit your needs. Even if you have to pay somebody else to do it, it's worth it in the end. It's been reported that rubbing elderberry leaves on your arms and legs will deter ticks. I don't know if this is true, but it has been reported. It is worth giving it a try and any further information would be much appreciated. So get out there, get training. You know it makes sense. It will serve you well.